Yeah, hi, this is Doc Mountain, and I welcome you to my channel. In our today's video, I'm going to walk you through a couple of me, problems that have to do with indefinite integrals. So what are indefinite integrals? So integration is the process of finding an expression for y in terms of x. Given the gradient function, let's say you had a function and then you differentiated it. Let's take this one as an example. Just writing things like this, you would actually be left in suspense and you don't know what is really, really happening. If this is a function here, 2x plus 3, and we have y there, so this is the function y. And then I say find its derivative. So when you differentiate that, you differentiate y with respect to x, you say dy dx, which is equal to, applying the power rule, there's a one there, so it will drop and you multiply it by the coefficient here. So you say one times two x, then you subtract the one from the power, and then plus, when you differentiate, a constant, the answer is zero. That's one thing you need to know. So mostly a constant is related to the gradient of the gradient of a horizontal line. Okay, so now let's work this one to the end. So what we're going to have is one times two, that is a two. Then x, one minus one leaves you with a zero. So anything raised to the power zero is equal to one. That's according to the laws of indices. So finally, you're going to have a two. So when you differentiate this function here, the, the answer you find is actually the derivative of that function. The process that has led us to that derivative is what we call differentiation. Now, when you do the opposite to what we have just done, you are now integrating, okay? You are now integrating. So integration is actually the process of finding an expression. So we have this uh, derivative. Now, if you are asked to integrate this, you're going to bring in the integral sign to show that you're integrating that one. Two with respect to x. So now since you're dealing with an indefinite integral, which has no limits. You don't have where you're starting from and where you're ending, as in terms of integrating the function. You can say, okay, fine. The final answer will be, remember, this two has an x which, which is raised to the power zero, just like we had it here. So when we are integrating, we are going to add, you do the, the opposite to what we did. You add the one, to the power, and what you do on top is what you do at the bottom. So we're going to have here at the bottom a 0 plus 1, then here 0 plus 1. So what we are going to end up with is 2 x, 0 plus 1 is 1, then at the bottom we're also going to have 1, and then we're going to add c. c is the arbitrarily constant, that is if, if we hadn't seen the first function as it is here, we wouldn't know the exact constant that was differentiated for them to have a zero here. Okay? So now, in a case where you can't even predict, you can't even tell, you haven't seen the function, you simply bring in C to denote that constant, which whose value you don't know. So now, when we work it out, we work it out to the end, to be 2x plus c. And that's what we are explaining here. So now this one is actually the function y is equal to 2x plus c. Okay, so now I will teach you how to resolve the arbitrarily constant, how you can determine the exact value of c, which we are calling the arbitrarily constant in the next video so i urge you to go ahead 
and uh, turn on the notification bell and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that the next time I will post a video on that, you will, we will be elated. Now, let's walk through this to the end. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> the in integration by the rule, let's look at the example here. So if dy dx is equal to x raised to the power 3, that is if the derivative is x raised to the power 3, find, okay, find the function. So you've just been given the derivative. And I'm saying find the function that was differentiated for them to have this derivative. So let's get started. So what you do is you write the symbol of integration and then you bring in the function that you're integrating or the derivative. So we are actually integrating this. So now what do we do next? You add the one to the power and what you do on top is what you do at the bottom. You also show three plus one. So now what will be the answer? The answer will be x raised to the power of four over four plus c. Remember c is actually the constant whose value we don't know. Okay, so now let's move on to the next problem. This is number one. Number two, the saying find y, find the function, given that the derivative is x raised to the power 5. So we simply bring in this symbol of integration, then we write the function that we are integrating, which is the derivative. And our function is the derivative. Okay, so here we go. What are you going to do? You simply add the one to the power. And then what you do on top is what you do at the bottom. So what will be the final answer? It will be x raised to the power 6 over 6 plus c, the bit really constant. Let's go, John. We move on to question 3. Let me just erase everything out here. I hope you've copied that. There we go. So number three, integrate the expressions below with respect to x. So we have one. We, we're going to have five x raised to the power two minus four x plus five. They want us to integrate that. So we're bringing in the integration symbol. And then we start integrating. So this one here, we are going to add the one to the power. And what you do on top is what you do at the bottom. So you're going to have two plus one. Equally here, there is a one, but it hasn't been shown. So that would be one plus one. We are adding a one to the power. And when you do that on top, you do that at the bottom as well. One plus one. Here... There is x raised to the power 0. So we have to add the wonder. And then we do the same 0 plus 1. Okay, so now with that in place, we can now write what we are going to, to find when we execute the operations. So that will be 5. x raised to the power 3 over... 2 plus 1, that's a 3. Then minus, this one will give us 4x raised to the power 2 over 2. Then plus 5x, that is 0 plus 1, which gives us a 1. And then we have 0 plus 1, which is a 1. Then plus the arbitrarily constant. So finally, we are going to have 5 over 3x 
raised to the power 3 minus, check these two can be simplified to there. That's 1 to there. That's a 2. So we're going to have 2x raised to the power 2 plus 1 into 5x. That gives us 5x plus c. And we have found the function. We have found the function. Let's resolve 3, 2. I'm pretty sure by now you are able to answer these questions. So I'm going to give you two seconds. 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, here we go. You can pause the video. You solve, then you can, you get back to check how, how I will solve this problem. So we have the integral sign. Then we write the derivative that we are integrating plus x with respect to x. So what you do is you add the 1 to the power. Then you add a 1 to 2 at the bottom as well. Here, there is a 1, but though it hasn't been shown, you add the 1 to that one. And at the bottom, you do the same. Okay, so now, what would be the final answer? The answer would be 3, x raised to the power 3, over 3, plus, this one would be x raised to the power 2, over 2. Oh, what am I doing? That's plus c. Okay, so now, we've already integrated that. If you repeat this, then it means that you're still integrating. So you don't need to write this integral sign here. What I should have written is an equal sign here. Okay. Okay, so we can now simplify whatever can be simplified here when you reach this stage. So 3 there, 1, 3 there, 1, 1 into 1, 1 times x, x raised to the power 3. Then so be x raised to the power 3 plus... This one can be written the way it is, or you can write it as half x squared plus c. So this is actually the function that we were looking for. So in, in the last subtopic of this topic, calculus, foundation to fundamental calculus, I will actually show you how you can actually resolve the arbitrary constant which you see here okay. so now we are done let's see if you have understood this you have understood this by introducing you to an individual work let me see you can still do these two and then you move on to those well thank you so much for watching stay blessed don't forget to subscribe and share the video